Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to walk you through step-by-step -step how to host your first webinar using Demio, the webinar software that we've been using for the last year to help grow our business online. If you missed my video from last week, I'm gonna link that up above here, but basically I'll walk you through 10 reasons why webinars are such a great tool to help you grow your business online. The first thing you need to do is sign up for your free 14-day trial with Demio. If you wanna support our channel, I'll put a link down below in the description with our affiliate link. Basically, if you decide to upgrade after your free trial, we'll receive a small commission at no extra cost to you, which helps us put on more videos like this one. Once you signed up for your free account, you'll be ready to follow along with the rest of the tutorial. All right, as soon as you sign into your Demio account, it'll look something like this. Obviously, you're not gonna have the scheduled webinars when you first get started, but I wanna walk you through everything you need to do to get your account set up. So the first thing you can do is click on the arrow here and go to settings. Uh, here you'll have your company name, the time zone, your default language. Obviously they have a ton of different languages here. And so if you do stuff in different countries and different languages, you can also use Demio. After general, go to the branding tab. Here you'll be able to add your logo and your color scheme and then choose which of the pages you wanna enable your branding on, on the pages such as the registration thank you recording page as well as in your emails and within the actual webinar room. Um, from there you have your billing, an API if you need to connect it to any other softwares, then the integrations tab. Within here, for example, we have connected to ConvertKit, but a lot of other email marketing softwares you can also connect to. Um, we usually, instead of using Demio for our emails, end up using ConvertKit. If you're curious about that, um, I'll put a link down below in the description that shows you how to integrate Demio with ConvertKit. Then you have your users, so you can add moderators and other speakers as in the users tab here. So you see Lauda, my business partner, um, has the main account, and then I'm on here as well. Then within email settings, you can choose you know, who the email is gonna come from if you do send emails through Demio. So that's all of the basic setup that you need uh, to get your account set up. From there, let's click on events and add a new event. So you, can, you have standard events, a series. So if you have multiple things that someone would sign up for, like part one, two, and three of a series, as well as automated events. Let's just do the standard for now. Um, say YouTube training, continue, and then schedule an event, single date and time, today at 5 p.m., sure. Add an event to schedule and it's been created. Okay, the next step, you need to customize this event. So the first thing is the registration. And so let's now customize the registration page. And here's more or less what Demio's registration page is gonna look like. So there's a couple of options for the template, your branding, obviously you have your logo and color scheme, the elements we could add, a subheadline, a video. Description, you can add more information about the presenters that are gonna be on the webinar. Uh, save and close. Then you have the form field. So what you could do here, right now it's only asking for first name and email. You could obviously add other fields here if you wanted. Um, and then this is only like the upcoming sessions that'll show up, um, which you don't really need to do anything with right now. The next thing would be the email notifications if you are sending emails within Demio. And so you basically choose here how many emails you wanna send out. So you have an instant confirmation 24 hours before, an hour before, 15 minutes before, and then you can go in and customize each one of these as well. And then also you can, you can send out the replay after the webinar, either to all registrants, attendees, or to the no-shows. After you've got the email set up, you can move on to the actual webinar room. So this is what it's gonna be like when you're presenting your webinar. 
And so with resources, there's a couple of different options here. For example, you could create a poll. Which do you use more often? YouTube, Instagram, and do I want to share results with attendees? Yes. Add resource. Okay, so I have a poll that's already built into my webinar. The next thing would be the presentation materials. One of the things to keep in mind here is whatever you add needs to be a PDF. Okay, and so let's add the presentation. Then the settings for the room, do you want the chat to be public or private? So with the public chat, the attendees can also see what everyone else is writing. A private chat, only you'll, the admins and moderators will actually see what's happening in the chat. Another thing you may want to do is a post-session redirect. Basically what that means is after the webinar is over, do you want to send someone to a course you're offering, your homepage, somewhere else? You can basically set that up right here. Uh, you can add additional admins to the event. And then if we move on to the general, so you basically choose the time zone and the language of this specific webinar. And then the last thing is integrations. And so with integrations, do you want to send your emails with ConvertKit? The other thing is if you're going to use a Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, or anything else, that essentially is in the custom code setting. So you can choose registration page, thank you page, replay page, webinar, and essentially insert custom code so you can track that um, with any ads that you're running or within Google Analytics or anything else that you happen to use. So you can save that and basically the webinar is all set to run. So the next thing would be is, is to share it. Here's the link to your event signup. We can copy that and open it in another tab and register. And then one of the nice things that I like about their thank you page and why I recommend using it is it's really easy to add to your calendar, no matter what type of calendar, if it's Apple, Google, Outlook, you know, you get to the thank you page and you can add it to your calendar and people are less likely to forget about your webinar if it's on their calendar. Now, so that was the easiest way to share the event link. And then now if we go to activity, you'll see that and people, you'll see, hey, we have one person who signed up. So with using Demio's event registration link, you don't have a ton of customization options as far as the form and the page itself. But one of the great things you can do is go to the embed options. So within embed options, you can either insert the entire form or you can just insert a button and then a pop-up comes up with the entire form. You can choose the size of the button, the color, um, the text that goes on it. And then you just need to copy the embed code. And then for example, we use lead pages for all of our landing pages. You can go somewhere like lead pages. I'll show you how it works here. It's really easy. Go down to HTML code, add that here, and then basically copy that code here and save. Now I can publish this landing page. and it looks something like this. If I click on register now, here's the pop-up from Demio. And I can register now within lead pages. And again, it takes me to the same thank you page that I showed you just a second ago. So those are two ways that you can either use the event signup through Demio or embed the form on your website, a landing page or anywhere else to get signups to your webinar. And let me show you what it looks like within your email as well. All right, so here's what your confirmation email will look like for someone who registered for the webinar. This is the one that sent out immediately. Like I showed you before, you can have one sent out 24 hours, an hour, 15 minutes before the webinar, and it'll look somewhat similar and they just click join or use the unique link that's right down below. Now let's show you what it looks like when you're actually running your webinar. So when it's time to actually have your webinar, you'll go into Demio and you'll see this join room. And so I'm signed in as Laura. Um, you wanna make sure you see the audio is working, the camera's working. 
Um, one thing I wanted to point out here is ideally you don't have your webcam on a laptop way below you. I wanted to make this point to show you this way, but you want to have your, your camera as well as your monitor kind of at eye level will look a lot better. Um, but basically what you want to do is join room. And you'll notice when you first log in that your session is on standby. And so on a, this is just you and potentially other moderators that you have in the session. No one else is gonna be able to see any of this. And you can see from here who's in the room right now. So we have the host, Diego, and then Laura, my business partner, is also kind of watching as we go. But these are, no one is a moderator host, so they can't see anything yet. And I can close this. And I can either start this way, or if I wanted to um, share the presentation and have that be what people saw when they first joined. But let's just start the session and show you what it looks like. So you got a couple second warning. Hello, welcome to my first webinar for my YouTube video. Is anyone on right now? And so here you can see in the chat um, that someone can write. This is on public, so anyone else that's on the webinar can see all the other comments here. And so what I want to ask everyone is I have this poll for you along the side, and I can share it with everyone here and share now. And so you can see as people begin to fill this out, it'll give you the percentages here. You know, I can go back to viewing the chat, and then if I want to get into the presentation, I go to view sharing options, and let's share the YouTube presentation. This is a really basic presentation. Remember, this should be in a PDF, and you can go through the presentation really just like this. And you can change the size of the, the camera you have, you can even turn the camera off if you wanted to just to do that. Another thing you could do is if you want to share something on your screen, you can stop sharing the presentation and then share your screen. So I could share my entire screen with everybody here. Maybe I wanted to walk them through, for example, this. How do you convert Kit and Demio together so I could show this in the middle of the webinar? And then go back to stop sharing my screen. And here I am just on the video. And when I'm finished, just hit end session. Yes, end. So you can see when the webinar is over, you'll have some of the statistics of registered, attended, missed, and messages. You can go in and view the messages. Maybe someone asked a question that you didn't have time to get to. You could see who asked it, what their email address is, reach out to them with an answer to their question. Also, if you go over here to activity, you have basically the insights tab that gives you statistics of if people were focused, who attended, if they attended, the session duration, the answer to your poll. And then if you go into people, what you're gonna see here, so we had four people signed up, the two that I showed you earlier, and Diego and Laura. It'll say if they attended or not, when they joined, their timestamp, how many minutes, what percent, if they were focused, so if they went to other tabs. You have a whole bunch of information here about your audience on your webinar. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how easy Demio is to use and how powerful of a tool it can be for your business. All right, there you go. Hopefully after walking through that, you feel more comfortable and you're ready to host your first webinar. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below in the comment section. If you wanna watch our video on why webinars work, I'll link to that up above here. And if you wanna watch another one of our videos that YouTube thinks you might like, I'll link to that right here. Until next time, bye-bye.